In the previous video, we derived the equation that the reward a user can receive from time t equals a to t equals b is given by this equation. In this video, we will try to derive this equation from this equation under the condition that L of u t is equal to some constant between the time interval a and b. We will start with the same graph as before. Alice stakes 100 token at t equals 7. Bob stakes 100 token at t equals 9. Alice unstakes at t equals 14, and then Bob unstakes everything at t equals 18. Notice that for t greater than 7 and less than or equal to 14, the amount of tokens staked by Alice is a constant, equal to 100. When we graph L of u t for Alice, the graph will look like this. Likewise for Bob, the amount of tokens staked by Bob for t greater than 9 and less than or equal to 18 is a constant. When we graph L of u t for Bob, the graph will look like this. When we graph the reward that Alice will receive between t equals 8 and 14, this is the equation that we derived. Since L of u t for Alice between t equals 8 to 14 is a constant, we can pull this out over here. And the equation is simplified to this. We took out L of u t from here since it is a constant for t equals 8 and 14. For the same reason, we can simplify the equation for Bob between t equals 10 and t equals 18. Between t equals 10 and t equals 18, L of u t for Bob is a constant, so we can pull out L of u t to the left, and the equation simplifies to this. In general, when L of u t is equal to some constant for the time interval between a and b, this equation can be simplified to this. Once we have an equation of this form, we can further simplify this part of the equation. Let's expand the summation of 1 over L of u t. We start with t equals a and evaluate 1 over L of a. Do the same for the next one, and so on up until t equals b. We can rewrite this equation as starting from 0, and then summing up all the way up to t equals b, and then minusing starting from 0 all the way up to t equals a minus 1. This part we can write it concisely as a summation from t equals 0 all the way up to b, adding 1 over l of t. Likewise, we can write this concisely by saying minus summation from t equals 0 all the way up to a minus 1, add 1 over l of t. Therefore, we can rewrite the top equation by plugging this formula over here and this equation over here. We can now rewrite this equation. The equation to calculate the amount of reward that a user will receive from t equals a to t equals b with the equation that we just derived. This equation is only true when L of u of t is equal to constant for the time interval between a and b. Now why is the equation on the right a better representation than the equation on the left? How can we write an efficient algorithm based on this equation? Well now, instead of running a for loop to calculate this number, we can store this sum in a single variable, and we'll be able to store this per user in a single variable as well. The code to calculate the reward of a user will look something like this. Notice that there is no for loops that we'll need to run. In the next video, I'll walk you through how to calculate the reward using this algorithm.